Did you really think that we weren't going to give you something special this holiday season? Of course we're going to give you guys something. We have three very special episodes coming for you. There's one coming up right now after this intro. So what do you say? You ready, Colt? A lot of people believe that this location was haunted. Bro, I've never felt this mood like that before. I heard a female laugh. So we heard a lot of stories about this place, about how there was people trying to do renovation work here. Even the workers that would come to this home would hear weird sounds, see shadow figures move. A lot of people believed that this location was haunted. The owner even reported that one of the workers would constantly hear what sounded like a woman crying from within the home. We didn't really know much about what we were getting ourselves into, but the stories that we heard left us intrigued. So Colton and I wanted to go investigate and take a look for ourselves. Did you just, did you just get something? Hmm? Did the obvious just say something? I turned on, yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of common. Dude, look at this fucking place, bro. Wow. When we first arrived, what I noticed was old pictures everywhere in the house. Hello, hello. What did it say? King. King? <laughs> Dude, there's so much old stuff in here. What is that? What is it? That crest. Oh. That's old as hell. Start looking. Walking through the door, you could feel the history of the home. It was 200 years old. That's a shield and two short swords. <laughs> I feel bad whoever uses that shield. If there's anybody here that would like to communicate with us, can you come close to us right now? Show us that you're present. I was doing the sweep with the EMF detector. I wanted to see if I'd get a spike anywhere in the house to see if there was maybe one location that had more activity than others. Colton had the ovulus in his hand behind me. He was fully night vision with the camera. If you come near the device in Casey's hand, it'll light up a light and let us know the strength of your signal. Position. Do you like us being right here? It's a weird one. Position. How about you come close to me and light up this device in my hand? Oh, damn. A little saxophone. Arrived. Stairs arrived. Huh? Lisa? Lisa? Stairs arrived, Lisa. The obelisk blurted out, stairs and arrived, which was kind of strange. But we decided to go and investigate 
and see maybe there was something upstairs that the obelisk was telling us to go and look at. Okay, so do you want us to go up the stairs then? All right, well, let's see. Smell that? Yeah. Like mold or like, I don't know. It smells like ammonia. What did it say? Stairs arrived, Lisa? Yeah. Did Is this say your name? Does Lisa want to come through and try to communicate? We're not here to harm you in any way. We're not here to make things... What was that? Something from over here. It's like a loud tap. It was like a, I don't know. It sounded like a curtain fell or something, I don't know. To me, I remember it sounding like a curtain rod had fallen off the top of a window and just smacked down on the ground. We're not here to make things. What was that? But all these doors are closed, except for that one. It sounded like it came from in here, right? It came from definitely down this hallway somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's Not even. Whoa. All of a sudden, I heard this glass just like, it sounded like something slid off a table. And when I looked in the room to my left, I could literally see the end of this teacup and saucer just falling to the floor, completely on its own. It sounded like it came from in here, right? It came from definitely down this hallway somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Not even. Pretty sure that I caught it on camera. I turned pretty fast. You sound like it came from in here, right? It came from definitely down this hallway somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Not even. I got the door to smooth. Which one? Mine. This is one right here. No, that f***ing thing just fell. Mike. Mike. It just said Mike. That just f fell down right I there. can't see. I have literally night vision on. You have to shine it. There's like a plate on the floor. What the f And clear as day, I could see a saucer on the floor. And when we went in there, there was a teacup as well. Dude, how did that get there? I think it just f fell, bro. This thing didn't turn on or anything. It's not like this started moving, but that there's, look, there's two, on. there's two right here. What? No fucking way. Did you get that whole thing on camera? Dude, I got, all I can see through night vision was it was dark and then it was white. Casey and I's attention was completely drawn towards this tea saucer and teacup that had just fallen on the ground. And I panned through the room because I was feeling a little bit uneasy. And out of the corner of my vision, I see the door start to close and then completely shut. Two right here. What? I got the end of that just now. Hello? What the f is going on? Hello? Linger. Fell. It's going crazy again. Hello? Bright. Bright. Is this light too bright for you? What's this? Hello? What is that? It's like a bathroom or something. I 
What's this? Yeah, I'm literally sweating. It's like storage. Bro, how the f did that door just close like that? I don't know. It's an old ass house, but what are the f chances? And what was making what that through a teacup? Shh. Did you just hear like a fucking laugh? In the past few years, it's become increasingly more common that we hear some sort of vocalization. Sometimes it's like a yell or a hum, but this time, Casey thought he heard laughter. And what was making what? that through a teacup? Shh. I could have sworn that I heard this laugh. And what was making what? that through a teacup? Shh. And I asked Colton if he heard it. He said he didn't hear it. You didn't hear like a little girl laugh just now? No. I was talking to Hold on. Did I swear I heard a girl laugh just now? This place is already out of control, bro. Hang on, hang on. Hello? What was in that room? That's where we heard the first noise at. Was that it? I think so. We'll check both. This is just a patio. Oh yeah, this room in here is just falling apart. What the? It's like old everywhere. Dude, I think we've been in a million places. And usually the stuff that we communicate with, they love clutter. They do. This has to be, what was it that we heard though? That was it. Is that it? That's exactly what it was. I thought it was like a curtain rod falling or something. Dude, look at this fucking room. This place gives me the creeps. This is all original. Yeah, this Every is- Every last bit of this. This is like 170 years old, bro. Okay, so. You got our attention. Hey, let's grab static cameras real quick. Let's put, one, let's, let's put one in that room, one in this room, because there's movement already. Wow. What? That I did just hear. I heard a female laugh. Colton looked at me and he goes, I heard laughing. A hundred percent. Wow. What? That I did just hear. I heard a female laugh. We went out in the hallway and we're both listening intently. I hear what I think he heard. Wow. What? That I did just hear. Dude, I think we should sit up here in the dark for a few minutes and just see if something else happens. I think so. This let's was going ape shit and then it stopped. And then it goes ape shit again and it stops. Let's do this. Let's do static camera in that room okay. where we got the first movement. Static camera in this room where we heard the noise and let's do like a static camera on the hall and maybe we do like yes, no right here and just start asking some questions. All right, yeah, I think we should do the majority of what we're gonna do right now yeah, yeah. in this area. Yeah, I agree. 100%. So we immediately went and we got static cameras. We set them up in the rooms, all the rooms upstairs and we did a yes, no prison. Weird timing. Yeah, you heard a noise as soon as I record, right? It was like a uh, sound like something slid on the furnace again. It sounded like wood creaking.
closer than red. It's not my chair, is it? No. Here's some clear over there. Yeah, it's not my chair yet. Sound like something dragging on that furnace. It sound like burr. Yeah. Burr. Like metal scrape, right? I don't know. So obviously we've experienced a lot of activity in here. We have a bunch of devices going. There's static cameras in an array all the way around us, a night vision camera as well. We don't want that to intimidate you or scare you at all. We're just hoping that we can get some of the communication and activity that you're giving us on camera. We've gotten a lot of names. We've gotten some peculiar words through the obelisk. And now we brought out this yes, no prism. Basically how this works is you just be present on either side of it. We're gonna ask you yes, no questions. And if you have an answer, yes or no. Casey's side, this gentleman right here, We'll light up green for yes. My side will light up red for no. We saw a couple objects up here move clear as day. And we saw a teacup fall off of that furnace. And we also saw a door close in that room when we were in there. If that was you, can you come close to this device and say yes? Can you light it up green? It's obvious that someone here wants to show us that they're present. You want music? What did I just say? 60? It said Paula 60. Paula 60. Is your name Paula? Wife. Wife. Murder. While we were doing the Yes No Prism, I start to hear what sounds like this old music playing. Paula, 60, wife, murder, before it's sh music. Where the hell did that come from? Okay, I hear a train now, but that was not a train a second no. ago. There was like music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like an old record or something, yeah. right? Paula, 60, wife, murder. Before his sh music. just said music and then it started playing music. Oh. Shh, shh. What? The music. You hear the music. All of a sudden we hear what sounds like a plastic cup fall from the room beside us. I don't want to move. What is happening? What the hell is happening? Right Where's now? that coming from, bro? What was that in here? Sound like a cup, like a plastic cup. I want to know what that music was too. There's a cup. Yeah, there's one right there on the floor. As we go to look, there was a plastic cup in the room on the floor, but we didn't have any access to the static camera because we leave it running the whole night. What? Yeah. Look. What the? No, I... Was this up here? I didn't even see that. I'm, I'm literally, I was talking with Luca, but I just pointed at it. 
That definitely sounded like a plastic. That was a plastic. That's exactly what it sounded like. Yeah. Looking back now, there was a lot more happening in that room than just the cup falling. It just said music and then it started playing music. What was that noise? This just died. Static no camera way. just died. And I heard this make a noise too. No, this is still recording. Static camera just died. That was full. What the hell is going on here? All three of the cameras are full. Well, they were. What is it saying? Johnny, Johnny Solid. Channeling Johnny Solid. Dude, we should go see where that music's coming from. this like a like a like a like slide it was sliding but you know yeah like wood on the floor i heard that too like the metallic sound mm -hmm. hey you want to uh, grab this yeah just pop it off here yeah yeah let's go see what's up down there i wonder if the audio on the cameras are going to be able to pick up that music you want to bring that? Yeah. No, I don't actually. I just want to check it. Drag. Drag? Yeah, it might be what we heard, like literally when I just said wood on wood. Yeah. Dude, I can't see a thing. I have to use my camera. Yeah, but it's not on. What? I'm just saying it's not spinning. They have record player, records all around the house. 
We have a saxophone hung up on the wall. Well, what it about? It sounds like whoever is communicating with us either was a musician yeah. or had an affinity for musicians. Well, what about Paulo 60, wife murdered? Like That's just an enigma. I like, have no idea what that means. We got almost like a name, age, uh -huh. wife, and murdered all like back to back. I heard that. I did. Dude, let's get straight to it. Stew a Ouija board on the table or something. Let's see if we can get something to spell out. The yes, no prism isn't really responsive, but the fucking ovulus is going nuts. Let's see what happens. All right, yeah, let's well, get it, dude. All right, let's do it. That was me. All right, let's spin it, man. All right, let's do it. Big circles. One, two, three. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchette? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the f no. is happening right now? Hey, hey, hey. Is happening, dude. Go to dude, the right. Yeah. What's that? Bro, I've never felt this move like that before. Colton and I have done countless Ouija board sessions over the years, and we felt all types of different movements. We felt slow movements before. Um, we've seen things move around us in the room, but this time it was just like a violent thrashing. One, two, three. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchette? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the f no. is happening right now? It felt like, not like someone was dragging the planchette, like someone was literally pushing my body, like behind my elbows. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchette? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the f no. is happening right now? We had to replay the video three or four times just to figure out what the hell it spelled. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchette? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the f no. is happening right now? When we slow it down and look at it, it is a little bit hard to see because of the style planchette that we have. If that was you upstairs, can you please use the planchette? Whoa, whoa, dude. What the happening right now from what we could tell it appeared that it spelled not welcome and it happened so fast three if that was you upstairs can you please use the planchette whoa whoa dude what the f no. is happening right now and immediately as soon as it finished spelling that we hear a door handle jiggle behind us and then a door slowly creak open. Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck is happening? Dude, go Dude, to the right. Bro. Yeah. What was that? Bro, I've never felt this move like that before. Hey. That sounded like a door. Bro. Don't move the camera. That sounded like a door. What was that? And click, click, click. My flashlight worked fine before we used the Ouija board session. Now all of a sudden it was dead. No. Flashlight's dead. It was just working, bro. I didn't want to go to the truck and grab another flashlight or grab new batteries because everything was happening so quick. I just grabbed a candle because I wanted to see what door opened and I needed some kind of light source. The candle? That, that's all I have, dude. You got the night vision? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Why didn't we see this before? Because it wasn't open before. I didn't even know there was a cellar here.
Casey gingerly opens the door and I'm right behind him with the night vision camera and we just slowly creep into the downstairs basement. Casey has nothing but a fucking candle. Bro, look down there with your night vision real quick because I can't see a fucking thing. Hello? Oh, it's ice cold too. Dude, it is absolutely cold. Here, let me see. Dude, I'm fucking shaking right now. Bro, I've never felt the board move like that. That was aggressive as fuck. I like almost don't believe you. I don't You're even know. I, me. Bro, I don't even know what the fuck that just spelled. It was moving so fast I couldn't keep up with it. I'm sorry, man. That's just like unbelievable. Hold on. Shh, shh, shh. I thought I heard a whisper or something. What? Something just blew the fucking candle out. I can't see anything, dude. As I'm turning a corner into this black nothingness, I can't even see through this doorway. Something literally blows the candle out right in front of me. And now I can't see a fucking thing. I can't Bro. see shit just through this thing. Something just blew this out in my fucking hand. I'm behind Casey, and I literally see all lights go out except for what I'm seeing through my viewfinder. It was pitch black down there. Casey was blind as a bat, but as it happened, there was like a gust that came through the room. What the f is going on down here, man? I'm literally standing there with him in the dark, like between wanting to show him what's going on on camera, and I end up stepping on a nail straight through my shoe. Ow. Dude. What's up? Oh, dude. Oh, no. What happened? You got a nail? It's fucking nail. No. Oh, God. You, you all right? Yeah. We were both freaking out. Injuries are happening. We decided, okay, enough's enough. Dude, let's get up out of here. Yeah, yeah, I can't see. I, I can't do the, the I can't do the fucking. Wait, I'm right behind you. I can't do the fucking. So I'm guiding both of us with my night vision camera. There is absolutely no source of light that we had. Casey was filming on his, so he couldn't use his flashlight. So I go to motion us up the stairs, and I shit you not, I see the most terrifying thing that anyone can imagine. What the fuck was that? What? 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 what he just immediately starts freaking the fuck out. What the fuck? was that? What? 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 what the f was that? What? 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 I can't even see him. It's so dark. He's just panicking in the dark. He gives me the camera at one point and he's like, here, like, go ahead. Like, you go first then. Dude, I'm not going front first, dude. I can't. Here, trade me. At that point, I was fing over it. I gave the camera to Casey and said, let's get the fuck out of here. Dude, I'm not trying to even go anywhere near that shit, dude. I'm ready to leave. Get me the fuck out of here. 
It is pitch black, homie. Like, I can't, I can't do anything with this right now. I'm freaking the f out. And we bolted out the back door, straight to the truck. We absolutely hate doing this to our viewers, but a point comes where instinct kicks in and enough is a f enough. We came back in the daylight to come retrieve our In this house, we experienced some things that neither one of us have ever really encountered before. The question of this place isn't whether it's haunted or not. That's an obvious. We had visuals, we had auditory sounds, the Ouija board movement. I think the question remains with us like, is this a sinister entity that we're dealing with? And I truly believe that the answer was yes.